Hey guys, welcome to the second part of my decluttering and organizing series here on my channel. My name is Brittany if you're new here and I'm going to be decluttering and organizing my whole house. So if you want to be a part of this journey, just subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. And today we are going to be tackling my utilities closet. Okay guys, so this is my utilities closet. It is really, really messy. I haven't organized this in a while now, and so it really needs some help. We like to keep paper towels, toilet paper, cleaning supplies, and extra snacks that don't fit in the kitchen in here. And yeah, it just needs some help. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove everything from the closet. And I just wanna mention that I know we have way too many paper towels. Um, the first thing we did wrong was go to Sam's Club without checking and seeing what we had at home. And the second thing I did wrong was listen to my husband because he was like, we don't have any. And then we get home and we have a brand new pack at home. So yeah, don't do those two mistakes. So you can see here that I have a lot of random things in the closet. I have light bulbs, paint, random boxes, an iron, cake stand. So I'm going to go ahead and find a new place for those in the house and just keep this closet simple with our regular supplies we need daily. So as I remove everything from the closet, I am setting everything in sections on the floor so when it's time to put everything back, it makes things a little easier. Okay, and this is everything that I took out of the closet. So I have a bunch of random things that aren't going back in there. I have a lot of paper towels, a lot of cleaning supplies. We have the food in the section here. And so this is what everything looks like out of the closet. And this is what it looks like all emptied. And now we're just going to start working on cleaning it up before we put everything back in. Okay, so now I just wanted to try to remove the shelf so I could just deep clean in the closet on the floor and it wouldn't come out like I really tried but it makes sense because we assembled it inside the closet and so yeah but I really still try to take it out but it wouldn't come out so here you can see that I was struggling to get everything underneath the shelf so I tried holding it with one hand and sweeping with the other and this clearly did not work but I tried anyways Oh my god, and this is embarrassing, but look at that hair that came out of there, like, how? 
how and why I have so many questions but I don't know I didn't know that much hair could accumulate underneath some shelves <laughs> But I left it in here just to motivate you guys. I don't know. Okay, so now that that is all over with, we're just gonna go ahead and give these shelves a good cleaning. They were a little dusty, so I have my microfiber towel and it just wetted a little bit. And I'm just gonna clean all the dust off of the shelves before we start adding everything back in. This is how it looks all dusted and cleaned, ready for everything to go back into the closet. So I measured the space and I went to Walmart and I found some bins that fit perfectly in here. I spent about $38 or so, so this is going to help keep everything nice and organized. I tried removing the sticker but there was some residue left over, so what I did was I grabbed an alcohol swab and that helped remove everything that was left over. Now it's time to add everything back inside the closet. I'm gonna start with the cleaning supplies because they are on the heavier side. So I'm gonna put those on the bottom shelf. Next, I'm going to move on to the toilet paper and my thousand paper towel rolls. So here I am struggling because I don't know where else to put the 12 paper towel rolls that are left over and yeah. In this bin I'm going to add in all the extra food items that don't fit in the kitchen. And in this bin, I'm going to add in all of the party supplies, but there are no parties happening here, unfortunately, but <laughs> these are all the extra stuff that we've had for previous parties.
So now I finally figured out what I should do with these paper towels. I actually made myself a stand and it helped out a lot. <laughs> but anyways, let's move on. In this bin, I'm going to add in extra parchment paper, foil, and sandwich bags. In this bin, I'm going to add in all of our extra toiletries. So for my last bin here, I'm going to make it like a miscellaneous bin. I'm going to put air fresheners, the holders, candles, and some extra tissue paper. So since I decluttered a lot of stuff out of this closet, I have a lot of space now on the top shelf. I didn't have anything else to put up here so I just thought that I would just put these extra paper towels up here for now. So I realized I missed a couple cleaning supplies so I'm just adding those back in here. This is the before. Look at how that looks. Wow. This does not even look like the same closet. And this is the after. This turned out so good, guys. So good. I feel like it's going to be so helpful now that it is organized. My family is going to be able to know where everything goes and help keep it organized. Alright guys, and that was part two of my decluttering and organizing series. If you'd like to see this series and see how I organize my whole house, just subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave me a like and comment down below. And thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time guys, bye!